Hi everyone, I'm going to answer a stack of questions that's been asked by a fellow YouTuber and just to make things more difficult I'm going to do, do it by while I'm wearing my dad's groovy spectacles from back in the 1950s kind of remind me a bit of a um, dead rock and roller from those days what do you think? So here I go, what's your first name? Well, um, people on YouTube know me as Tracy, but I was actually christened Therese um, after St. Therese of the Little Flowers. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened when I was about five. There was a few of us in the class with the same or similar name, so we all had our names um, just slightly changed to avoid confusion, and I've been called Tracy ever since. <coughs> Where are you from? I uh, was born in Darlinghurst, in, uh, which is a suburb of, in New South Wales, and we moved over here to Adelaide, um, South Australia in 1971 when I was just 11 years old, and I now live in the beautiful Adelaide Hills. I am 47 years old. Uh, pets, spouses and children. I have a crazy border collie dog called Molly. She's about a year old. You can see her on the screen there. And um, a very adventurous and aggressive at the moment uh, ferret called Farkin. He's nine months old. He's off to get the snip in the next few days. And I have a lovely fluffy uh, black and white cat called Kitten. Um, she's actually 12 years old, so don't tell her, okay? Spouses, my partner is uh, Michael. He's 35. I met him um, seven years ago in uh, the year 2000 through a um, um, telephone dating service just before the uh, internet dating services became really popular. Um, I picked him, I think I must have listened to maybe 600 messages and I picked him out of all of them and um, he was um, seeking to meet a lady who was 35 with one child or less and at the time I was 40 with three children but two of them were already off my hands so I left him a message and he rejected me. Um, I met someone else, dated him for about uh, six weeks and then he disappeared so I went back into the dating um, service, listened to all the messages again and I swear to God, without even realising it, I picked the same person, the same message. I replied to it again, and he um, <laughs> he replied saying, well, you contacted me six weeks ago, which I swear to God I'd completely forgotten. And he said, thanks again, but no thanks, again. And uh, so I, I thought that was the end of it. I just left him one little message saying, you know, well, okay, but, you know, you'll be sorry because, you know, I may be 40, but I'm very young, 40, and, and uh, you know, two of my kids are already off my hands, so I really only have one child at home. Um, and, uh, and he actually got back to me and um, decided that he would like to meet me after all. So it was probably quite a shaky beginning on his part but for my part to have picked him out of four to six hundred messages twice without even realizing it um, well to me that's fate so you know I think we'll be together forever ever I love him very much and um, yeah my future's looking very bright uh, children I have three wonderful sons Brett's 29 married with a couple of beautiful children uh, he works in childcare uh, Craig is 25 and uh, he's married as well with two beautiful little girls and uh, Craig recently um, last year quit his job to take on a full-time um, course to become a commercial pilot so I really wish him the best of, of luck there and uh, my youngest Adam he's uh, 21 and he um, has worked since he was 15 he's he's really into uh, well he's worked work electrical stores that sort of thing and he moves around a bit he hasn't sort of uh, found a job that he is really happy with yet um, but you know eventually he'll settle down and get married and being Greek he'll probably give me another six grandchildren but that's okay I, I can live with that hobbies and fun well um, up until YouTube came into my life, it was always music, Mike Goldfield especially, but I love all kinds of music. But um, yeah, pretty much YouTube takes up most of my uh, time 
these days. I still love to get outside. I love to take Farkan for walks. I love to go uh, bushwalking in the National Park, which is only about a kilometre from here. Um, I love family and socialising, of course. Board games, love board games, love movies, love television. But, um, yeah, always at the top of my list is going to be uh, my music and uh, our photography. Love to take photos as well. I know, right. I'm quite a prolific writer. Um, that's if prolific just means you do a lot of writing. I don't think I'm particularly good at it, but um, I've kept a journal since I was about um, 11 years old. When I was 11, I started <coughs> writing letters to uh, my school friends in um, in New South Wales when we moved over here and uh, also um, an uncle that I had in uh, Malta and I wrote to him for uh, oh, 30 years or so up and right up until his um, death. So um, yeah, pen palling and um, uh, which I don't do anymore because I have my internet friends but uh, pen palling for many many years and uh, now I just keep a very extensive journal. Uh, what would I do as a power of 10 winning? So I don't actually know what that is. I'm going to assume it's something like the Australian Cross Lotto um, which usually um, produces you know winnings up in the millions. Um, certainly if I won millions of dollars um, I'd give um, you know a million dollars each to my kids. Um, I'd travel. I'm a bit scared of planes, but with, if I had the money, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd force myself to travel. I've always wanted to go to Scotland. I've always wanted to go to Germany and 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 uh, Middle Eastern Europe to see all the castles and and um, that sort of thing. Um, I'd love to go to England to visit my partner's um, relatives over there and um, some of I good friends over there um, who are part members of the Mike Oldfield fan club um, and uh, yeah I'd, I'd probably build my own home from the ground up you know my own I'd design it myself and, and um, uh, oversee the building of it that would be awesome that's something I've always had an interest in and, and something I think I'd, uh, I'd really enjoy doing. What magazines do I subscribe to? Um, I subscribe to Who magazine which I think is the like the sister magazine for um, people, what you call people magazine over there. Uh, it's been going for about 15 years now and I've subscribed to it since around about issue 12. So I've got almost every, every um, issue of Who all neatly packed away. <coughs> and occasionally I, I'll go back and, and flick through some of the old magazines which can be entertaining. Fave t TV show on the air um, at the moment and why. It's got to be Californication. It only started this week. I've only seen one episode but it, it just it appealed to my sense of humour. Um, probably a little bit too much titty going on in the first episode but I think that they'll once they realise that the, uh, the comedy aspect um, of it is, uh, is, is going to be enough to establish them with an excellent fan base. Um, they might tone down the, the titties a little bit, not that it really bothers me, but I just think it's, you know, it's an entertaining enough show with, without them. I was quite shocked to see uh, Madeline Zima uh, naked in it. She played uh, little Gracie in The Nanny. She's uh, playing the part of a 16 year old in the show. She's probably about 18. But uh, yeah, that was quite quite a shock, her and David Bukofny. Fave TV show ever has to be Six Feet Under. I like it for, I like both shows for similar reasons, just the, um, the, the, the truthfulness about them, the, the boardiness, um, the, the, not, the, the lack of fear to touch on uh, sensitive and, and personal um, subjects, um, which is what I think makes um, every person's life interesting. Um, I, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered with any person unless I really get to know them intimately. Um, I'm not talking about sexually. <laughs> Fave YouTuber. Um, I have a few, but because I can only pick one, I'm just going to say the person who just you know jumped into my my head, the first person that I thought of, and and that's Ken R G. Um, I just think he's uh, intelligent, funny, good-looking, uh, entertaining. He does really clever videos. Um, I've known him for a whole year since I first came on 
onto YouTube. Um, he has many subscribers and yet he still makes the effort to, to comment on every one of his subscribers' videos, which I think is just really fantastic. I, I, you know, I have one tenth the amount of subscribers he does and I, I struggle to do that myself. So uh, yeah, Ken RG, check him out. If you haven't checked him out before, he's a great guy. First music purchase uh, was actually bought for me. Um, when I was 12, I saw the promo for um, the movie The Exorcist, which had the music for Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield playing in the background, and um, so I got the album for my uh, 13th birthday, 34 years ago, uh, in July of 1973, and it's still my favourite album today. I still listen to it, and the only, if I had to pick an album that... Um, slightly surpasses that one. I'd have to say it was Tubular Bells 2. So, uh, and he's still going, Mike Oldfield, who's still recording albums. He's got an album coming out uh, in November this year called Music of the Spheres. Um, he recorded it in Abbey Road Studios. It's, uh, it's, been, it's, it's rock music mixed with classical music. He's uh, got an entire symphonic orchestra on the album. And uh, it's a return to his, um, you know, classic style from the 70s, which I'm sure all his fans will be really looking forward to it, and I can't wait. Just finished reading his autobiography called Changeling. Mike Oldfield, don't forget the name. My three favourite websites. I can actually only think of two. Obviously YouTube, number one. Uh, number two is... Um, Tubular Net, which is a Mike Oldfield fan forum, which was my obsession up until YouTube came into my life. And um, the only other websites that I look into are photography websites uh, that my partner um, is involved with. Um, you know, I love to look in there and compare the quality of his photos to, to that of other photographers. Uh, he's a member of a Canon site and he's also a member of a of a club called POTN, which is Photography on the Net, so I, I love looking in there as well. And what am I most proud of? Without a doubt, my three boys. I can't even talk about them without getting emotional. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, but I just love them to death. I love the fact that they're all so very different from each other. Um, I love the fact that they're not perfect. Um, and I love I love that there's no real generation gap between us and um, my greatest pleasure in life is knowing that they can come to me and talk to me about anything. <laughs> I swear to God I'm insane. Somebody should just shoot me but yeah, I, I just, I love them to death and my beautiful, my four beautiful grandchildren. Um, but yeah. My three boys are my life, they always have been, always will be. And uh, yeah, I look forward to watching watching how their lives progress and watching the kid, the little kids grow up and, and absolutely couldn't be proud of anything else. So on that happy note, I am happy, I swear, very happy. Thanks guys, bye bye.